Stop. I wasn't watching the game no more. I wanted to study what was in Michael Jordan. I'm like, what's in Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan got something in him. You, you, have, you know it's a whole lot of NBA players, but you ever notice when you watch the game, there's just some guys, they just on a whole different type of level, right? And when I study, I'm at, so I'm going to give you three things. I'm letting you go. I'm going to give you three things that's within these people that make them do what they do. And one of the things, if you've ever watched Michael Jordan, if you've ever watched Kobe, and I'm not a fan of either of the two, but I love greatness. Catch what I just said. I'm from Detroit. I can't stand Michael Jordan. We probably would have won about four championships had it not been. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah Thomas, Michael Wade, Benny Michael Wade. We had the spider. We had it going on. Rick Mahorn. I mean, we was murdering them. Michael Jordan came in. You ain't never like, uh, I'm gonna tell you, my greatest memory of Michael trouble. Jordan. Work, working out. All right, I want two people to take a guess. What do you think my greatest moment of Michael Jordan is? This right here. What do you think my greatest moment of Michael Jordan was? That, that was sweet, wasn't it? Which one are you talking about, though? Because it's a couple of them. <laughs> it was a whole bunch of those. They didn't give me any one of them. Utah. I was thinking of Cleveland myself, personally, right? right. But the Utah was a great step back. Boom. And whenever Mike would get you, he'd just hold it out just for the camera so everybody could see. Boom. It's done. Right? That's not it, though. That's good. Anybody else? Great. Michael Jordan. Say it again. Fist pump. MJ, after he do his thing. No. Shh. With the end. Remember what I told you. And for those of you who are going to hit those three levels, you got to have this if you're going to get there. The thing that I love most about Michael Jordan was the last time he lost to the Pistons, he cried. And when he walked off the court with the tears in his eyes, you know that one when you lose and you ain't even got no sportsmanship? You know that one? Normally, you know, you lose, you just man up. You, you don't want to shake their hand, but you do it anyway because that's a part of the game. Uh, but when you, get so, when you get so tired of losing, ability, right? Speed. when you get pissed, you know? when you can't take losing no more, Order. you lose the whole little shaking the hand and you just walk off. And Mike walked off with a tear in his eye. And let me tell you something. He walked off and said to himself, this will be the last time the Pistons ever beat me again. Dwight Howard, no respect for the kid. None. I, he, I, look, okay, I want to show you because you think I'm playing. I, I'm gonna call Dwight Howard and tell my man he need to let it go. Oh, we're gonna get you far ahead. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. Work hard to make scoring. Young out here, man. We gonna I, do it all. Wherever I go, I wear this because I'm like I'm the best at what I do. My man Dwight got on one of these. He called himself Superman. The team was losing by 18 points. He was over there smiling. Y'all, I'm I'm clueless. Y'all losing. Listen to me. Even when you lose, it's okay to lose. But you can't never get comfortable with it. I'm not going to say the name, but you will only be that guy. You will only eat for free. You will only drive around and people screaming your name for four years if you don't get your stuff together. You the man now, but you ain't going to be the man forever. And the worst thing in life is not to be broke. The worst thing in life is to take some success and then you got to go back to being a nobody. That's hard. I'm going to say it again because I want to make sure you catch it. It's one thing to be broke because you cool. Like we grew up, we was broke. I didn't know we was broke when I was a kid. I didn't know. Right? We just doing honey sandwiches. I didn't know nothing was wrong with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just doing honey mayonnaise sandwich. I didn't know nothing was wrong with that. We went to church tennis. I didn't know nothing was wrong with that. But now that I'm successful, I see, oh, we didn't have options. Right? And so I'm telling you that this, listen to me very closely. The one, the, the, my sweetest commercial that MJ did, you know the commercial where, you know, Mike just talked about how he made the game, so he apologized for making it look so easy. You're the only one doing what you're doing. You ain't the only one doing what you're doing. And there's some kid who didn't get to come here, and he's pissed that he didn't get to come here. He thought he should be here too, and guess what he's doing? Why you in here, listen to me. <laughs> Why you getting your shoes? Why you getting your white Jordan gear? Why you feeling like, yep, yeah, I made it. I'm one of the top 20, baby. There's some kid who didn't get to make it. And right now, he trying to take your spot. Right now, he said, yep, yeah, he beat me to the classic, but I get him in the NCAA. I get him next year. If I don't get him in, I get him after that. And I see him in the pros, and I get him in. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So you got an opportunity, but you got to separate yourself. I'm not the smartest, but you will not outwork me.
I wake up every morning at 3 o'clock. We got home from the University of Cincinnati at 2.45. I still didn't go to bed. At 3 o'clock, I went on my walk, my hour and a half walk with God, came back in, did some work. Are you hearing me? You might be smarter. Your family might come from privilege. Your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. You will not have more drive than I have, more passion than I have. And I'll beat you every single day because I got passion. You will not wake up in the morning because you spoil. You will not get up before eight. You will not get up before six. I will out rep you. you push up every day I'm going. I'm doing more and more each day. I'm trying to do them until I can't do them no more. I'm doing sit-ups every day. I will outwork you. And I'm telling you, you go out there and like Cal, you show up. They can't outwork you. If you went 7-0, they can't outwork you. But you know what happens? You start doing good. You start working hard. Us against the world. We got the best trainer in Hampton Road, EJ. Got us working hard. We're ready to compete. We're looking forward to the season again. Check us out. Green, green Run uh, B-Ball. At Green Run B-Ball Twitter. Back Green Run Basketball Facebook. Check us out. We're ready. Watch out.